Today, I am here in the lab with Lee. Hi, Dr. Joel. What have you got for us today? Okay, this is something I saw online. A guy named Mark Rover built one of these, and I just love it. It's a fluidized sand bed, liquid sand. Show you how it works. So what we have here is a box, and I've taken some 15 mil PVC pipe and threaded it along the bottom of the box. And under each of these pipes are some tiny one millimetre holes that will let air come out. OK. We're going to hook this up to an air compressor I have over there, uh, through this little nozzle on the end, pump air through it and fill it up with sand. That sounds really exciting. So, um, so we're just going to fill all this in there yep. until it's full? I'm going to need your help for that. I can see why. Let's get on to it. this up here. Okay. okay, the sand is filled, the air compressor is at pressure. It's time to turn on the air. Let's check this out. Oh, it's moving up. Wow, it's bubbling like water. It's bugging up. Put your hand in. <gasps> but I feel... Well, yeah, it feels definitely a lot like quicksand here. Like, it's really easy to put my hand in here like it is water, right. but it's not. It feels like a liquid. That's because the air forcing its way up counteracts the gravity of the grains. And if you get it just right, it flows. Now, check this out. I love this. Taking a tennis ball. Oh, Look at this. wow. Put it down. It bounces. Just like, wow. So, is this kind of like liquefaction? Like, it looks like what happens after it with an earthquake. It's, uh, it's a little bit different because sometimes the liquefaction earthquakes is just due to the shaking of the ground and you know freeing up moisture. This is more like what happens if an undersea volcano goes off and puts up a whole lot of air or hot water suddenly. It can sink ships. Now, turn up that pressure a little bit more. You can see I've got here um, Duckbird Einstein. He goes in and he floats. It is like a liquid. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it definitely feels different where the air's not getting to on the side. It's more solid, but it feels like liquid where that bubbling happens. Let's try this. This time, we're going to turn it on, stick your arm in, and I'm going to turn it off and see what it feels like. Here we go. So it's bubbling. Bubbling. It feels like liquid. <laughs> oh! So yeah, it's definitely, it closes around your hand really quickly right. as it soon as it's It really becomes a solid. I just love it. It's liquid, and now, Get it out. It's kind of like that quicksand situation. Hey, exactly. <laughs> so this is used in all sorts of engineering ways when you want to coat a solid really easily with lots of particles or you want to get a gas to coat particles. It's this perfect balance. Um, and this is not actually ordinary sand. This is glass beads that we'd use for sandblasting. These are INDA, I-N-D-A beads if you're looking for them online. Um, it makes it a really smooth, fine sand. I could just play with this for hours. Me too, let's. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more. Yes. <laughs> it, it just bounces. Can we dunk it? Look, if you want to see this experiment again, head to our website for lots more hands-on experiments. Otherwise, we're going to keep playing and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.